Today I'm at the Masi Museum and Cultural Center. It's located in the part of town called Goilanai, and it's inside of the service delivery center in the same compound as it. The Masi Museum is a not-for-profit setup, and most of the items displayed inside are donations. So here you can find mainly cultural artifacts as well as some relics from World War II. So let's go inside and have a look. Inside the foyer you have the main display and then you have the Oahu Huba Art Gallery. In there you'll find the timelines for the rise and fall of samurai as well as the Battle of Milne Bay from 1942 plus some carvings as well as the mini library. Behind me there's a display of various artifacts from different parts of the province. There are conch shells, lime sticks or lime spatulas, some axe handles, some clubs, and then some ornaments that were once attached to trading canoes. These are some billums from Rabaraba, Raba, some baskets from Suau, a basket from Rabaraba. Raba. Behind me is a timeline for the rise and fall of Samurai, chronicles events from 1880 to 1980. Behind me is a piece that I particularly like, it's called Choco, it's by artist Jeff Evanet. It's an acrylic on canvas from 2017. It's based on Private Eddie George of the 61st Battalion which patrolled after the Battle of Milne Bay in 1942. Uh, the term Choco is a derogatory term referring to a chocolate soldier who's young, good looking, but not very useful as a soldier. And despite being termed uh, Chocos, the soldiers of the 61st Battalion did not melt in battle. Here behind me we have a library with some relevant text if you want more detailed information about the display and the artifacts found here. Behind me is an exhibition that chronicles the Battle of Milne Bay in 1942. It's a lot of information, some photographs, and it covers the whole war. So if after you've been to the war memorial for the Battle of Milne Bay, which is located in town, and you'd like some more information, you can come around here, and there's quite a lot to see. So inside of the museum you'll find the Gehi Gehi gift shop which features work by local artists. Here you can find creations such as paintings, carvings, storyboards, greeting cards and jewelry. All of them locally made. And since it's not a commercial operation per se, most of the proceeds from sale of these items goes back to assist the local artists. Going to the gift shop you'll come to the Malinowski room. That's where the canoe exhibition is. Where you have the various uh, canoes from different parts of the province. We have some transport and trade canoes. We have some war canoes and we have some village canoes. They are accompanied by sketches and brief descriptions so you can know more about the canoes. 